Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you were kind of enjoying my mistake from the other day. <laughs> I think we're going to try this again with black on the back. And I think that'll make those um, bubbles pop because I think it will work. But I wasn't thinking, I don't know. Because you can see with the when I put the black behind it, I think you can see that. So I'm wondering if maybe if I just did a top coat, maybe I'll do that. I'll just do a thin top coat of black on the top and we'll see if that works. So with that, today we are going to do a bling bling. Oh my goodness, we haven't done one in a few weeks. And I apologize, my bling bling people. Um, I try to, I try to do so many different things and... I just kept dropping the ball, just the way things were happening, but today is the day we're gonna do a bling bling. It might just be the basics and right back into it, but I'm gonna get my stuff together. I'm gonna get this crown off and my lovely beaded jacket I bought at the hardware store. I think that's hilarious. This is the most funniest thing ever. I go into the hardware store to get supplies and I come out with a blinged out jacket. So anyways, with that, I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes when I have all my stuff together. I'll see you in a minute, guys. The button. Oh my goodness, the button. <laughs> Hello, we are back. My camera went all funky there. We are all ready to go. Everything's dropping. So these are the colors I've chosen. Today we are going off my comfort zone and doing pinks. And I even have pink glass. We're going to use all of Laura's pink glitters. And we're going to go through with a, a variant of different pinks and a dark pink, quarter center magenta. And we're going to do a baby pink on the top. I was going to do white, but I thought we'll do the baby pink. Maybe we'll stagger the white and the pink. We'll see. So with that, I'm going to remove all this. We'll go through the glittery parts when we go to get to it. And the paints we are going to use are Liquid X Basics. This one is rose pink. The two Peblios. This one is Peblio Studios Opaque Vivid Pink. We're using Peblio Studios Iridescent Violet Blue. Sorry, I couldn't even read that. Violet blue. That's hilarious. Um, we are using Liquid X Basics. This one is Quadrocentrin Magenta. Not a whole lot in there, but enough to do what we're doing. And this one is the Liquid X Basics. This one's light pink. And again, I might mix that with the white. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have it taped. Oh, push pinned. And we are ready to go. I have a cup of water here just so I can clean out my brush. And <clears throat> let's get having some fun. So we're going to go, I think, lights on the ends. And we're just going to go straight across. Let's do. And one in the middle. We will do whoop. and here. Then we will do. paint goop off there. I love this one and it gives it gives it such a nice um, shimmer with this one. We'll do one there, one there. And then the Quadracentrone Magenta. Hopefully I can get a, some of it out. Let me see. I'm going to cut the end 
and see what I can scoop out with the spatula. All right, because there's a lot of paint in there still. There we go. Perfect. So we'll see where that takes us. And I'm going to grab a paper towel. Just wipe that there. Got my Royal Lang Nickel. Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo. This is an R795. I'm going to dampen it. Take off the excess just to get the Get it going and here we go we're just gonna blend my friends we're just gonna blend and when you blend remember get the sides all of the sides So I just want to make sure I get the edge here. And if it doesn't 100% match up, as long as it's got the pinkies in it, that's fine. I'm going to brush some of that off. <clears throat> Just so we can maybe try and blend a little more. There we go. And I'm going to do the same, come in from the end. So I don't, ah, I was trying not to get paint on me. And I'm going to get the ends sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm almost debating. I'm going to go higher than Than halfway because I think that would be pretty. I don't want to put more paint on there. You're probably going, just put more paint there. There's a couple spots I can see. Let me just do this. There we go. And then we're just going to blend it out that way. Just get that get a little spot here. And we're going to blend more this way. Try and keep it straight without um, making your lines all wiggly. Perfect. I'm just going to come and try and straighten it out. There. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I think that turned out pretty. I like that. What do you think, guys? That is gorgeous. Okay, so then I'm going to bring it up there. I'm going to kind of wash my brush out just a tad. we're still going to stay in the pinks but we don't want it to be 
any of the darker ones, right? So I'm just going to try and brush off some of that out of there. I think we're good. And I think we're going to mix the white and the, the pink up here. So I'm going to do... Whoa, that's a lot of pink. <laughs> there. And we'll do three. And then we'll put the white... <clears throat> we'll do a white line in between. Sorry, I'm just trying to open this. This is um, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. So we're going to... Whoa. Whoa. There, I think that's enough. I had it sitting upside down. Now let me take oh, a clean one <laughs> and spread this white down just so it's... There we go. Let's get painting. And if we get a little bit I'm not overly crazy, worried. I'm gonna brush some of that off because that's a lot. Remember, get the sides. And I have goobers in there which we don't want. I'm just going to go Excuse me. Brush some of that off. There's a lot on there. Get the ends. Just gonna lift it up so I can see, guys. There we go. And then I'm gonna try and brush off some of this. And then just do my straight. We don't even really see the white in it, guys, but except for here. Just want to make sure that I got that paint there, paint in here. There we go. The sides again. A little bit on that one. Perfect. I think that's going to be pretty. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to wash off my brush. And we'll be back, and we're going to get our bling on. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, I am back. This is dry, looks amazing. And for some reason you're tilted again. There you go, guys. All right, so we're gonna get right into this. We are gonna use some Tri Art liquid glass. That's what's in my little squeeze bottle. Now, you can use Mod Podge, you can use Elmer's glue, you can use resin. I used to initially use resin in my first videos because I liked the idea that I knew it was going to stick and everything was not going to fall off. Where I found when I tried to use the um, Mod Podge and the other stuff, it didn't adhere as well. 
So if you can't get this triard liquid glass, you can use resin. Just be mindful because the resin spreads a lot. So watch my earlier videos and it'll show you how to do it with resin. So, and I do have another video, I'll link the two, that'll show you how to do it with Mod Podge. So with that, we're gonna use that to adhere everything. The glitters I've chosen are, this one is um, Fun Fetty, and they're all from Laura. This one is Pink Flamingo Glitter. They're both chunky, and I'm thinking that I might use this, oh, I keep putting my hand in that wet paint, Diamond Amethyst, and then I also have Magenta Sparkle. So we're going to play around. We might not use all of them, but that's what we're choosing to do. And I pulled out my pink glass, which I got from Michael's. And let's get at it, my friends. And it is not quite halfway, so it's kind of nice. So I'll put the, um, the Ziggy Zags down a little further on this side. I'm just gonna clean off the end of my bottle. I love putting my liquid glass in this bottle. It's a little easier to, it's more controlled where you want to put it because I personally don't do it over the edge so with that we're going to do one thick line all the way and then go off of that there we go we're just going to go up and down. Make sure you're going straight and you're not going crooked because that's not good. Kind of spread this out a little more. I'll fill in the gap in there because I want that to be substantial there. Okay. And if your colors are uneven, this is where you fix it up. Let's get doing some wispies. And again, like I said, try to keep it going straight. And let's get one more long one down this way. Perfect. Okay, now the bottom. If you got bald spots, just strategically put the the liquid glass, the Mod Podge, or whatever it is you want over top of that.
here. Let me just stand back and take a peek. I'm going to fill in some of these a little bit. There, I think that looks good. So I'm going to put the lid on my, wipe it off, put the lid on this. And I'm going to put you on pause, guys, for just a couple seconds because I need to change the battery. And I thought before I start doing that, I'm going to, I'm going to bite the bullet first instead of the battery dying. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, here we go. So we are all set. I am going to, what I do is I try to lay what you really want on first because you want the glass to stay on. So I'm gonna put the glass on first. Then I would come back with my heavier glitter and then the fine. So I'm gonna come down with a heavy coat of this glass down the center. And because You've got that differentiate in color. You can go heavy here. So you don't really see that line. There, and then I'm gonna strategically come down, put some glass down here. Yes, this is glass. Just be careful, guys. I'm just gently rubbing it in my fingers, so. There we go, so I think that's good. I'm just gonna pat down where I want that line down the center. All right, awesome. Now I'm gonna come back with, let's do this pink. This one is pink. Pink Flamingo from Laura's Art Corner. Just gonna get right in there. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Ah, that's so much right there. Okay, well, let's try and match it up. Oh my goodness. It needs to go in a, here, let's do it this way. Can't waste it, Laura. Oh my goodness. And the thing is, all of these little um, wispies need to be covered because you're gonna see a line of complete white, shiny if you do not put anything on it. So you got to make sure they're covered. So that is the Flamingo. Let's get into this. I'm gonna, hmm. Let me see if I can do this with a spoon. I like doing it with my fingers, but all right, this is the Funfetti. It kind of like the, um, Oh my goodness, the Wedding Day Bliss is in the same line of glitters that Laura has. I'm going to try and come down heavier on the center. And then I'm going to get the fine glitter on the wispies. And a little more here. And then I'm gonna get this other one out here. This, let's see what this one looks like. This is the, we'll put some of that on there. This one is the Diamond Amethyst.
try and get it on some of these wispies. So try and even it out because I got it mostly on the ends, so I'm gonna There, so we've got that. I think that's good. And then we'll come in with the magenta. So we'll bring some up on the top as well. Woo! There, I think that's good. Let me grab... I'm hoping there's a, a baby, baby pink. Let me see. Because that magenta is really, um, oh, here we go. Oh, that's hilarious. Look what I pulled out. Magenta sparkle. <laughs> Let's just use the magenta sparkle. <laughs> go with my gut. All right, let's go. We're gonna go heavy with this. And that way it will cover all of the other stuff. And I have a full bottle of that, so I'm, I'm content. Now, I do not throw this stuff out. I put it on a puppy pad upside down and we will reuse this. Now you could sift it through if you want to be that and sift it through a strainer to do the fine and the, and the chunky. But I like it because then the next time I have a pink thing I want to do, I'll just pull this out and use that Ooh, will we make it will we make it i think i may oh right at the end well you know what gives me the opportunity to put it in this container oh I just got pink all over the front of me, which is fine. So this is going to go in here. Depends what you're doing. I like putting these in the shakers because you've got the oh my goodness side and you have the let's go a little light side. So let's go. We'll put that in here. And we'll do a little down the center just to even it all out. And if that ain't enough bling and glitter, my friends, I don't know. A little mist some here. Just come back and make sure that you're covering all of that white stuff. See, see, and there we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this dry. The other, oh, maybe more on that one. The other thing with this liquid glass, I find I sit here and I put my Dyson air purifier on, which is a fan as well. And within two hours, it is usually time to shake off. So that's good as well. As where the resin, you'd have to wait a whole day. Here we go. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, I'm back from work. This is dry. I'm excited. So we're gonna, I got a puppy pad upside down. It's easier to get the glitter off than it is on this side. So that way we can reuse. I know there's gonna be a lot of glitter, but that's all right. We're gonna reuse this, my friends. Brush inward 
on both. Shake off the loose. There you go. I'm excited. That looks pretty amazing. Now I need to brush. The thing is, you need to make sure that your paint is dry so that you don't get um, the glitters sticking to the paint itself. So with that, my people, I'm going to hang it on the shelf behind me on my rack and I'll bring you in for a close up. I'll be right back, guys. Just a sec. There you go, my friends. I am in love with that bottom. That is gorgeous. And all those glitters, like oh, the pink glass is pretty. I am very happy. I don't know if you can hear that, guys. There's a dog outside barking. <laughs> so there you go. Happy bling bling Sunday. I am sorry it took me so long to get back to me, back to this, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell up there for notifications for when I put up my next video and with that everything in the description everything I used would be in the description box below and also I'll have the links to where to purchase fundy molds with a discount code I also have the links to where to purchase tri art liquid glass I also have the links to let's resin with a discount code of sherry m10 capital s capital m and then i also have my new discount code for crystal resin go check it out um five percent and it is sherry molten five with a capital s and last but not least my two amazing la res distributors i have michelle from artworks resin canada Go check out her site. I have the discount code of Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. Also, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Larez distributor, and my Glitter Guru, where the glitters came from today. Um, go check out her site. Use my discount code of all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that, I have my Amazon shops in there, which I'm affiliated with. And last but not least, I have my PayPal if you choose to donate. So with that long-winded exit, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.